President Donald Trump is on the verge of getting a Supreme Court confirmation that of course he deserves to be on the presidential ballot in every state. The Supreme Court, barring one justice, didn't even care to address the insurrection accusations because it was too silly to entertain. Biden admits he has dementia and can't remember stealing classified documents or even being vice president. And House Speaker Mike Johnson tells Biden, saying Donald Trump is the reason for the the border crisis is offensive and no one believes your lies. Thank you so much for liking and sharing these videos. It really helps me out because it tells YouTube to push it out to other people. So thank you so much for doing that. Now, don't miss my interview from earlier today with Bill O'Reilly. He almost never goes on anyone else's show, but he agreed to come on and talk about Donald Trump, the presidential race, and the Supreme Court ruling. It was an amazing interview. Now, special counsel Robert Herr has just decided not to charge President Joe Biden for possessing classified documents, despite evidence that he willfully retained and disclosed classified information as his vice presidency when he was a private citizen. So why did special counsel Herr not prosecute him? Well, because he's old and has a poor memory. Don't believe me? It's all in the report. He stated, at trial, Mr. Biden would likely present himself to a jury, as he did during our interview of him, as a sympathetic, well-meaning, elderly man with a poor memory. Now, based on our direct interactions with and observations of him, he is someone for whom many jurors will want to identify a reasonable doubt. Now, Trump, who was charged for possessing, uh, possessing possessing documents, stated the justice system uh, is showing favoritism. He stated, this has now proven to be a two-tiered system of justice and unconstitutional selective prosecution and persecution. So when President Biden is in trouble, he's an old man with a bad memory. But when he's running for president, he's physically fit and mentally prepared to run one of the biggest countries in the world. Can someone explain this to me? Of course you can't. Now, funny enough, President Biden's own legal team wasn't happy with how he was described in the report as an old man with a bad memory. Bob Bauer criticized special counsel Robert Heuer for trashing the subject of an investigation with unfounded and irrelevant critical commentary. I don't think it's really that unfounded. We can all see that he has dementia. Now, it could just be me, but it doesn't seem smart to deny the reason why Biden was shown mercy. But uh, but both Biden's legal team and the White House couldn't let it slide. Now, what's really scary to me is someone who wanted to remain off the record said that Joe Biden admitted he barely remembers being vice president. You guys, <laughs> the president of the United States of America has dementia. He knows it. The White House knows it. And you better believe our enemies know it. This is starting to get really scary. This guy doesn't even remember most of his life memories. It's really, really terrifying. Now, House Speaker Mike Johnson has responded to President Biden for ridiculously blaming former President Donald Trump for the ongoing border crisis. Now, according to Breitbart News, Speaker Johnson said the assertion was offensive because it's a blatant lie to the American people. He stated, we continue to show the Americans, uh, the American people, step by step how he and Mayorkas orchestrated this. There is a reason why only 18% of Americans in the latest polls approve of the administration's handling of the border. To put the nail in the coffin, Speaker Johnson also recalled a private conversation where Biden himself admitted The executive authority to secure the border does exist in the hands of the president. Of course it exists. A president has a constitutional duty to defend a country. This is why the president is the head of the military, even though he has no military experience. It's literally his job to defend the United States of America. Now, according to NBC News, 
Joe Biden will likely be forced to use this authority before the election in order to get votes. White House reporter Monica Alba stated that two U.S. officials confirmed the possibility and pointed towards how Democratic mayors are begging for the federal government to step in and help them as they are overloaded with illegal migrants. Despite having the power to end this now, NBC News claimed that Biden would likely only use this executive authority last minute. Now, let me know in the comments section, please. Do you want a president that only protects you as a last resort in order to get last minute votes out of you? This makes me sick. This guy is sick. He's not even protecting us. While everyone is pointing fingers at each other over what's causing the problem, New York Democrat Representative AOC is arguing that there is no problem and to send more illegal immigrants. During an interview with MSNBC, AOC claimed that immigration as a whole is a positive benefit for America. She stated, the thing that has distinguished U.S. economic performance from other countries like Japan or other developed economies is the fact that we have pro-immigration policies, which allows us to continue our economic growth. Now, unfortunately for her, Biden has already admitted illegal immigration is an issue, but she doesn't see it that way because the corporate donors that give her money and get her elected, they likely want cheap labor. They're looking for cheap labor. Now, of course, we're a nation of immigrants. I'm a proud family of immigrants, but illegal immigrants, that's a totally different story. And that's what you, you notice in the interview she never said illegal or came into the country under the wrong terms, uh, jumped in front of the all the families that have been waiting and putting in their paperwork. All right, guys, this is big, 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 big. Now, the Supreme Court has finally heard arguments from Colorado in an effort to determine if Donald Trump should be allowed to be on the upcoming presidential election ballot. During the hearing, the justices questioned multiple lawyers representing Colorado regarding the history and meaning of the 14th Amendment. Overall, the Supreme Court seemed very unconvinced by the arguments put forward by Colorado. After the hearing was over, Donald Trump stated, I thought it was a very beautiful process. I hope that democracy in this country will continue because right now we have a very, very tough situation with all of the radical left ideas. Now, yesterday I reported that members of the EU were threatening to sanction Tucker Carlson for interviewing Vladimir Putin of Russia. In fact, that interview just dropped. You should go watch it after this one. However, we now know that it will not take place because the president of Hungary said that he would block it immediately. So it's probably not going to happen. However, don't be surprised if within the next 12 months, uh, Tucker Carlson announces that he was randomly audited by the IRS. This is how they really stick it to you. All right, now over in Gaza, Israel has stuck by its intentions to invade the city of Rafa, which is still heavily occupied by Hamas and Palestinians. However, White House spokesman John Kirby claimed that the United States has no indication that it will actually happen. But Kirby still seems to warn against the attack, claiming that the Biden administration wouldn't support it because they believe it will result in disaster. Now, I'm not sure why Kirby is claiming it won't happen because just yesterday, Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel said, it's definitely going to happen. But I guess until it does, leaders in America want to pretend like they're supporting Israel and also pretend like Israel isn't killing a bunch of people in Palestine. Now, it's official. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has officially fired General Zaluzhny, who served as the head of the Ukrainian armed forces. Ukraine's Minister of Defense, Rustam Omarov, stated that new approaches and new strategies are needed to win in 2024. President Zelensky also bashed other Ukrainian officers for leading from the rear. He stated, if a general doesn't know the front line, he does not serve Ukraine. Now, do you think Zelensky made the right move and it's time to get rid of his general? 
Or is this whole thing just basically over and they're basically <laughs> like moving chairs around on the Titanic while it sinks? Oh, we better get reorganized over here before the nose dips under the water. All right, now this is my update for today. I wanna to remind you that you are amazing. Thank you for liking and sharing these videos. Check out this interview with Bill O'Reilly. It is super, super good. Thanks so much, and I'll see you on the next video.